But of course, again, you know all of this. What about predicting a categorical response? We're using linear regression to predict a continuous response, which is great. But what about predicting a categorical response? Let's examine the glass type column of the glass data set. We take the value counts. This is similar to something that you have seen in section one. And we get the corresponding counts for each of the categories that are present in the glass type column. Now, for this data set, glass type one, two, three are window glasses, while five, six, and seven are household glass types. So what we want to do is come up with a binary variable where if there is a value of one or two or three, I'll encode that as zero and five or six or seven, I'll encode that as one. So we generate a new column called household where we're trying to map the glass type by saying if it assumes a value of one or two or three, we will encode it as zero. And if it assumes a value of five or six or seven, we will use the value of one. And notice how we use a dictionary to do the encodings, a Python dictionary. So once we do that and look at our head, we will see that we've got our appropriate response. We've got a new column called household, which assumes the value of either zero or one, zero. If the glass type column has the value of either one or two or three, one, if it assumes the value of five or six or seven. So let's change our task and start predicting household using AL. Let's visualize the relationship to figure out how we do this. So instead of predicting RI, we are now interested in predicting this binary categorical variable called household. As usual, we start off with our scatter plots to see how household is related with the AL column. And if we were to draw a regression line like we did before, it would look something like this. So if AL equal to three, what class do we predict for household? One. Anything on the right of AL equals three, that is anything that is greater than or equal to three in case of AL, we predict household to be one. And if AL equals 1.5, what class do we predict for household? You guessed it right, zero. We predict the zero class for lower values of AL and the one class for higher values of AL. What's our cutoff value? At around AL equal to two, you might notice, because that's where the linear regression line crosses the midpoint between predicting class zero and predicting class one. We will choose AL equals two as our threshold. Anything above AL equal two, we will predict as household to be one and anything less, we'll predict household to be zero. Therefore, we'll say that if household underscore pred is greater than 0.5, we predict a class of one, else we predict a class of zero. Now, in order to come up with these conditional statements, for example, the last statement that I made, household underscore pred greater than or equal to 0.5. If it is true, we want to do something. If it is false, we want to do something else. Understanding the where function of NumPy will actually help us implement that in Python very efficiently. So we'll take a shot at understanding what np.where does. So we import NumPy as mp. We initialize an array having values 5, 15, and 8. And we use np.where, something like this. We put our condition as our first parameter of, on this function. So we want to find for every number that is greater than 10, we want our values to be big. And if it is not, we want our values to be small. 
So in the first case, 5 is not greater than 10, so we get small. 15 is greater than 10, so we get big. And small for 8, since it is less than 10. So using this np.where, we want to transform our household underscore pred column to binary where we say if household underscore pred is 0.5 is greater than or equal to 0.5 we interpret that as 1 otherwise as 0. We see that we now have an additional column household underscore pred underscore class which has binary values 0 or 1. If we plot the class predictions it will look something like this. So just like we marked our statement where we wanted to say if AL is greater than 2 then we want to predict household class to be 1 and if AL is less than 2 we want it to be 0. Visually we are kind of confirming that we have chosen our threshold appropriately and this can be our classification algorithm using linear regression.